Let's go. Okay, thanks for hopping on everyone. So tonight we're going to talk about events and I'm going to give Victoria and Shannon as much of the call as possible because they have been doing an incredible job um, just creating a bi-weekly event for our team to utilize and it's been going on for a while now so if you haven't heard of it it's okay um, they're going to bring us up to speed um, and just talk about how we can really utilize it to um, not only recruit but help people on our team duplicate build silvers um, identify new business builders so we're going to talk through that and they're going to kind of give us the um, just like the why behind it. And, um, if you've participated in one and you have any feedback, we can also have, um, discussion at the end, but I also wanted to make sure you guys were aware that, um, coming up in just days, I mean, a couple of weeks is our April quarterly wellness challenge, right? So every quarter we do a big, um, quarterly wellness challenge as a full team and they're always amazing. And they always create a lot of momentum not only for recruitment because you can you know invite people to do it with you but also for retention for your team because when people are plugged into these things they stay around longer right they get better experience with their products they might try new products um so i'm going to share my screen and just show you a couple things to get you excited hopefully about the upcoming challenge i swear the buttons on zoom move every time hold on <laughs> Share my screen. Where is it? This is ridiculous. Okay, it's not here. I don't know. Oh, there it is. Okay, sorry. Okay, goodness. So here it is. Okay, so can you guys see my screen? Because that was like way more hard than it needed to be. <laughs> okay, so... Clean Gut, Clean House. This is the April challenge group that's coming up. So starts April 8th through the 30th. So just like a little more than 21 day challenge. I think it's 23 days total. Um, but this is unlike anything we've ever done before. We have never done like a declutter um, emphasis, but even just the past couple of weeks that I've been posting about it, I've gotten a ton of interest and engagement. So I want to tell you guys like this is a catchy thing. This is something that people um, need and want in their life and to pair it with gut health is perfect. And spring is the perfect time, right? Everyone's focused on spring cleaning. So the idea is that we are cleaning out our gut microbiomes and we are cleaning our houses at the same time. So there's a couple of things we have created that are going to be great. I just wanted to show you what the declutter list is going to look like. So there will be like one thing per day that we focus on. We'll give that task ahead of time. So like people want to work ahead or have one day where they want to do a lot, they can, but there will be one thing for each day in the group. Okay. So we have the declutter list, everything very clean and simple. Um, and I also created this. These are all in the toolkit that is on Made to Thrive Brilliant at the Basics. So that is our business builder Facebook page. And if you guys hop over there, there's a toolkit. I've shared a bunch of post ideas in the comments, message ideas that you can use. And this graphic is handy because it um, explains what is included. Because as we're talking to people um, about events and things we have coming up, we have to establish the value right? Or deals and promos and all that kind of stuff don't matter. We have to explain like what they're getting and how this solves a problem for them. Um, so this breaks it down and shows the cost of triplex, including the membership with the free reset. Um, so just a helpful tool as you're having conversations. But what I want to encourage you guys to do is to start posting about it um, with a call to action. And what that means is like at the bottom of the post, you can say, comment clean below um, for more information or some kind of like prompt message me, comment this, comment that, um, so that you can have people engage with it. And that becomes your reach out list. You can have a message that you send them. Um, and if you're going to just like cold message people or like stir up conversation about this, you don't want to just blast the information in the graphic. You want to share it coming from a place on how these products have helped you and trying to identify if that's a need for them, right? Every conversation we're trying to determine if it's a need and if this is a good fit for them. So I wanna encourage you guys to check out that toolkit um, and start like making lists, start thinking about who you could be inviting to this. 
This should be an invite for every person on your team. Um, and it is a great tool for prospects. And of course, like they get the free reset. So it's perfect for getting started. We're going to use Triplex together and the first three days will be reset. If you have current customers that want to do this group, but don't want to do a reset, that is okay. Just make sure that they have their Triplex system. Um, and I am sending a text message blast out to everyone on our team. So it's a little over 1,500 people. Tomorrow afternoon, you'll all get it. Um, and it's basically just explaining that we have this challenge coming up. Um, and if someone's interested, they can respond back clean. And that comes straight to me and I will help them and answer any questions. Um, so you may have some customers that end up ordering um, based off that text message. So I wanted to let you know that that was coming. And I think that's it. Do you guys have any questions about this challenge group, how to talk about it, what it's going to be? No questions. It's clear. Okay, sweet. So we have plenty of time, guys. It's March 18th. doesn't start till April 8th. So the, the reason that we do it that way is so that you can leverage the end of the month and the beginning of the month, because we know there's always those people that, you know, we're trying to get them started before the end of the month and it just kind of rolls over. That will be fine. They'll still have time to get their products, um, but total alignment with what Plexus is doing, right? You guys, the um, Apple watch or Samsung watch, huge incentive for recruiting, free reset, huge value for your prospects. Um, and it all just works together. So um, if you guys have questions about it, let me know. And please, please check out the toolkit on Made to Thrive Brilliant at the Basics because I keep like putting post ideas and additional things in there. If you have people on your team that are sharing, make sure you add them, tag them in the toolkit because that will be helpful for them too. Okay, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to turn it over to Shan and Victoria and they're going to talk about our virtual events. So you guys can take it away. Awesome. Thank you. Like, seriously, though, you guys, March, I mean, Plexus has really like just handed us everything we need on a platter. And then you toss in, you know, our challenge coming up, plus these events that Shannon and I are running biweekly. So like so many good things, right, for all the pillars. Um, but OK, so this is perfect because Shannon and I have been doing these online Facebook events every two weeks. Um, and so we just wanted to share with you guys one kind of what they are, um, why we're doing them and, um, then gain feedback from you guys. Okay. So if you are new here, or maybe you haven't been in the loop, that's okay. Just to give a little background. We have been doing these groups every two weeks. It's in a Facebook group called learn to thrive. Um, a plexus wellness event. Okay. So that is a Facebook group that we created and they're every two weeks on Thursday and Friday. And on Thursdays, we're really focusing on adding value to people because what we want, the goal is <clears throat> that when people um, come to this event, if they don't buy anything from us, they're still going to walk away having learned something new. So on Thursday, that's when we're sharing a lot of information about gut health that has really nothing to do with Plexus. <clears throat> Things like, you know, look for these ingredients when you're shopping at the grocery store or, um, you know, make sure that you're getting your sleep, like just different things so that <clears throat> they may implement something, sorry, um, without having to purchase our products right away. You know what I mean? Like they can get started and they can walk away learning something and having value added to them. So that's Thursday. And then Friday is when we go into supplementation, right? Because yes, of course, our products are amazing. They are a great tool to a healthy lifestyle, to gut health. They really help you. I feel like with, you know, just make better lifestyle choices. And so Friday, we really highlight a lot of the products and include testimonies. And I know Shannon's going to talk about how you guys can help more with that, but I just wanted to give you a little background on what that looks like. Um, and Shannon, I don't know if you're going to talk about this either, but I'll just mention it briefly about the virtual wellness rooms. Were you going to talk about that or do you want me to scratch the surface on that? You can scratch the surface. Okay. So with the Facebook group, right? So we have um, co-hosts. So the idea is that the group can have as many people in it as they want, right? But that we then create a Facebook Messenger chat group 
okay, called like, let's say Courtney's virtual wellness room. And so you can have, let's say two to three co-hosts within a week, these people that are all adding into the group, but then they're creating their own separate wellness rooms, right? It'd be like you guys having somebody into your house, kind of like, think about it like um, Super Saturday, right? Corporate has Super Saturday, but then people invite their people into their living room to watch Super Saturday, kind of the same, same idea, right? But this is virtual. So that's the idea behind the virtual wellness rooms is that it just creates more of an intimate setting where your co-host can plug their people in. And then from there, you can share different posts. You don't have to share all of them, but you might say, hey, you know, this is the welcome live. Go check it out. And you can copy the link right from the group into there. Okay. Um, and so we'll go over this more. I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty details, but what we found is that it does create more of an intimate setting. And then you can also see who's viewed it. You can, you know, people can comment and ask questions and things like that. So that is the background of that. But we wanted to take time tonight to explain to you why, like, why are we doing these? Okay. Why is it important? And why should you be utilizing them? Okay. And then again, to also gain feedback. So way back in December, not way back, but back at the end of December, Shannon and I did a training that Bob Heilig put on, on events. Um, and basically, okay. He was saying that we cannot completely rely on social media, right? We can't any gone are the days where we can post something about Plexus, about our pink drink. And then people are curious and they're like ready to jump on and, and buy it. Right. That, that does not happen hardly anymore. Right. We cannot rely on social media. And so he, what he reassured us too, is that parties and events are not dead. And when he said that, I was like, really? Because I have not had success with these online events at all. Um, he said, but the way we that we need to do them in order to create results has changed dramatically. So we can't like people don't have time to hop on a group and learn all the things about all over, you know, 30 products of Plexus. They don't have time. They don't want to do that. Right. So it's changed, okay? People are looking for different things and they are expecting more from people that they want to do business with. So it's not just like I said, like, oh, just scrolling. Let me let me take time to find out information. They really wanna have a connection with people that they're doing business with and that they're buying with. And so, um, you know, we have to ask the question, like, where should we be focusing our time and energy to grow our business in 2024? And most people are focusing on content and social media, which we should be doing, right? But we also can be doing these events on, you know, coinciding with our content because it's much, much easier, right? Let's say you have a new person who says, you know, I'm, I'm interested in sharing with my friends and family. What's easier? Is it easier to say, great, that's amazing. Let's have you host an event with me. You're going to co-host this event with me. All you have to do is invite your friends and family. We're going to put them in this group messenger chat. Shannon and I will take care of the content. Is that easier or is making them a content creator easier? Number one, right? It is much easier for a newer person who's willing to share to invite a group of family and friends than it is to teach them how to become an expert and a content creator, okay? And the other thing he mentioned is that events are only a waste of time if they are totally transactional. So that would be like we used to do in the olden days where we're like, come to this wellness event and here's Triplex and here's Slim and here's X Factor Plus and here's X Factor Kids and here's all the things. And then now who's ready to buy, right? That is very transactional. We can't do that anymore. We must add value, okay? And so Shannon's gonna take over from there, but those are some of the biggest highlights that I took away from um, his event training. And Shannon, you're gonna take over, yeah? Yeah. 
Yes. Thank you, Victoria. I feel like you covered almost all of it, but here I go. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Um, so just to go along with, with what you were saying about the content, like, I feel like it's less scary too, for somebody to, you know, invite friends to a group that somebody else is running as opposed to them creating posts and putting posts out there. Um, like, they have to create that themselves. I mean, we give people, you know, obviously sample posts and whatnot, but this, this seems more like they are being a hostess, which is exactly what we're asking them to do as opposed to them selling Plexus themselves. Does that make sense? Like, um, I feel like I have gotten many yeses with this, whereas before, like people would be like, yeah, I, that sounds good. And then how long did it take for somebody to actually make that first post? I know I've had people like just drag their feet with that and not actually follow through and do it. So I feel like this is like, we're, we're holding their hand. We're helping them out. Even if it gets them one person to join, um, that's the goal, right? To get one person and then three people and just go from there. Um, and one thing that stuck out to us too, with this training was Bob said that, um, the, that you want to have quality invites when you're doing an event. So you want to get a yes. You don't want to just add people into a group and just assume that they want gut health. Like you want to be like, Hey, Brittany, like I've been loving these products. They've helped me with X, Y, and Z. Do you think that they would be helpful for you as well? Like getting an, a, or would you be interested in learning about them? Getting a solid yes from them. Cause then you know that that is a that is a true quality. Yes. That's a true quality lead for you. Um, and then having quality follow-ups when you're done with the, with the event, reaching back out to them, not asking them if they have questions, asking them what they liked best about the event, what stood out to them, what products do they think would help them with their health? Like good questions, not, Hey, do you have any questions about all that content we shared for two days? <laughs> Cause they're going to be like, Oh no. Um, and the main thing was that he said, the event literally doesn't matter. You could put whatever you want in that event. It's the quality invites that you're getting a yes. You're saying you're finding out the people that are interested and want gut health and then the quality follow-ups because the sales are in conversations. It's not in the event. So that's why if you're wondering like, well, I do my own events. How come you want me to like now do these all together with everybody as a team? Because we're taking away that thing that he says doesn't really matter. And, you know, instead of you putting your time into creating an event or running an event or scheduling posts, like, let's just all do it together. Let's just help one another. We're already posting. We're already, you know, running the event. You just have to get your people there your hostesses and get them to, you know, open up their network of people to you so that you can find hidden silvers and you can find hidden rubies or whatever. And like, that is the point of this. And that's what we're trying our best to help everybody do is we want everybody like, what's the saying? Um, all ships. I don't even know. Never mind. <laughs> A rising tide. <laughs> yes, ships. yes, that. And we are totally open to like anybody helping with these events. So if you're like, Alicia, if you're like, Hey, I have so-and-so is hosting and you want to hop in and do a live during the event, go for it. Like it's not just the Shannon Victoria show. Like we don't want to just run everything. Like we would love for anybody that has a hostess during the week to maybe schedule a couple posts so that your people and your hostess is seeing your name in the event as well. That's totally fine. If, or if you have an idea, like, Hey, I think that this would be a great, you know, um, value added thing to talk about during the Thursday, which we've been just every week that we've been running them, we've been like evaluating it and like, okay, wh what can we change? What we can, what can we add? How we, can we make this better? And we're open to anybody's feedback in that. Like we love collaborating. Um, so yeah, that is the, the main reason of why, like we're just doing this one event and we're asking everybody to collaborate with it because the event and the work that we're putting into it, why should we all be doing that? Does that make sense? Um, so yeah. <laughs> and we just want to know like what, if anybody has had any hostesses or has any feedback or still has questions or still is unclear on what we're doing, like, please unmute, drop it in the chat and let us know what, what you're thinking. 
I do have one quick thing to, you know, I think there's value in people doing their own events, but we also have to go back to remember like the pyramid, the result oriented activities, support and icing on the cake activities. And so really Shannon and I doing this is like a support, right? But the result oriented activities are really in those quality asks for co-hosts, inviting them to co-host and the, you know, follow up right? So everything happening in that, that chat and the follow-up, that's where your result-oriented activities are because it's silly for everybody to be running their own events. That's not result-oriented. Result-oriented is going to be like in those conversations, like Shannon was saying. So yeah, what questions, feedback, Anybody, somebody, tell you, tell us you love us, something. <laughs> Unmute and say you love me. No. <laughs> um, I can just share quickly. I just feel like sometimes I just lose track of like what week we're on. Are they like every like second and fourth? Are they like, I know it changes because like, I think March has like five Fridays. Um, we've or literally one been doing every other week. So this week would have been a week of them, but I don't know that me or I don't think anybody has a hostess this week. So, um, so that was going to be a question, right? Mm -hmm. If no one has a hostess. Yeah. If, yeah. If no one has a hostess, then we were going to just do it next week kind of thing instead of waiting two more weeks to do it, if that makes sense. And we would kind of just announce that, like, we'll let everybody know, like, okay, like we don't have a quality hostess for this week. Like just keep inviting, let us know when you do, if anybody does, and then we'll just bump it to the next week. Does that make sense? Okay. Yes. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I love you too. I love you all too. <laughs> Yeah, because next Thursday and Friday would be the 28th and 29th. So I know Easter, though, is on Sunday. So you would just really need to up your follow up. Like, that's the only thing. So, Shannon, we can talk about that. Or if you guys really commit, like, we could all commit to finding a co host. I mean, it still gives them a day to add people a day or two, if you reach out tomorrow morning or even this evening. Um, but you can message me and Shannon. Yeah, it's totally doable. I've done events like really quickly. So definitely doable. Um, the other thing that I was going to say is just posting like a note in like brilliant at the basics might be helpful. Like just, Hey, it's coming up you know, and then all the people who are in there are working. And so they can be like, oh yeah, I've been meaning to ask like X, Y, Z person on my team. And you might just even ask us a question like, hey, can you think of anyone? And then it'll just kind of bug us to then do that. And it's not like a chat where it gets lost. So people who aren't in there, like if they're working during the day, they actually still see it. So that might be helpful because I know I sometimes have good intentions and then I'm like, it's Thursday. <laughs> what, what happened? That's a great so Gesture. Totally. Um, yeah. And yeah. Okay. And so I feel like we would give like a week advance reminder or something like that. We'll figure out the timeline just because you want to, by the time you're inviting, you're asking somebody to be a hostess, you want to give that person time to make those quality invites. So great suggestion. Okay. That. Megan has a question. When finding co-hosts, are we wanting them to be already customers and have them invite or a host that isn't a customer? Honestly, I would say either one. Like, of course, if they're a current customer and they're loving their products, that's fantastic. Like that is great because they can also share in their invites like, hey, I'm loving these products. I would love to share more with you. Or if they're new and they, well, they don't have their products yet, they could say, hey, I've been curious about this Plexus thing. I've heard my friend Megan, you know, rave about Reset and, you know, whatever. She can share your story or they can share your story and then they can invite saying like, 
here's what Meg has helped Megan with. Would you want to, you know, be a fly in the wall in this event with me and learn more about the products with me kind of a thing? Do you have yeah, anything? A way to of, yeah. Just as a way of like ha- inviting people to do it alongside somebody. Like, I think that's okay. brilliant. And a lot of times we have people who might, you know, have cost as an objection to getting started. And this would be a great response to that. Like if somebody comes back and says like, I can't afford the products right now, you can be like, well, would you like to be a hostess in my event? So you can invite some other friends to learn about it and then join along, like join with you. Literally somebody could join and add three people on one in the same day and go silver. And they would make, they would make the money back right away. Yeah. Okay. That's great. And then would we get credit if our customers used their referral link? Yes, you would get credit. Sorry, Megan. Yeah. So like Megan, let's say you had a customer or even somebody that's not a customer yet of yours that hosted, um, you also would get credit. Yes. Yeah. So hopefully that answers your question. I hope you're enjoying your shower. (laughs) these are great and you know we can even schedule shannon the reminders on made to thrive brilliant at the basics kind of like how melissa eichenhorst has been doing with her sunday night calls like just reminding people that's a great suggestion alicia yeah i thought of that too that's good I was thinking too, we could also put a post out there on Made to Thrive, like our full team page, just ask, like letting people know about it and asking if anyone mm-hmm. would be interested in co-hosting because there's, there was 10 of us, now there's eight of us here that, you know, I'm not sure all of this is trickling down to the full team. So I am just, I so appreciate you guys that are willing to hop on team call because this is, this is where we share the things. Um, and this is such a huge duplication piece, but I bet there's people on our team that have never been asked, um, that, you know, are interested. And then whoever the working upline is can just, you know, jump in and, and help them. So I can work on that. Yeah. I love that. Another good thing about these two is that we're doing them in the same group every time. So mm-hmm. say you have somebody who says that they want to be a hostess and they, you know, have people come and they join the group, but they don't have anybody join right away. That person lo- completely loses interest because they haven't had somebody, you know, pull the trigger and join Plexus right away. Those people are still in that group. So every time we run the event, they're seeing the posts and they could possibly want to join later down the road. Whereas I feel like a lot of times we do some, we do events and then that group just kind of just goes into whatever, you don't (laughs) just, yeah, goes with the aliens. It gets abducted with the aliens and like all those people who, you know, said yes, that they were interested in plexus or gut health are like gone forever. And you're like, you know, so your people will stay in there or your people's people will stay in there. And it's just a great way for them to, to see it and may possibly join when they're ready. And then real quick, I know we're like almost we're done. It's nine o'clock, but invite friends, earn money. I'm just going to talk about that for two minutes. Um, that is another tool that we are doing for our entire team. You, and I, I love that these are all in there and adding new people all the time. And we, again, are open for any suggestions with that. We're kind of, our, our focus with that is like simple post ideas, story ideas, encouragement. It's pretty much like what we're doing in there. Cause those are people who are either not silver yet or have never added one person. So we're trying to not make it too overwhelming. Um, or anything like that. So, and, but that's open for everybody. Anybody who shows any interest, inner interest, oh my goodness, I can't speak in like sharing or earning whatever the incentive is that month, like pop them in there and, you know, and do shout outs in there like Coralie did yesterday and just bring up the excitement in that chat. And yeah, so I just wanted to uh, make a plug for that again too. So these are amazing resources and what these ladies are telling you is they're doing a lot of the heavy lifting for the entire team, which is pretty amazing. Like they just put their heads together and, um, 
decided to start these things that really benefit everybody. So sometimes if you're not the one creating it, it's hard to like plug in and be involved, but you guys can utilize these things. Like if you decide like, okay, at least once a week, I'm going to ask someone to co-host, or I'm going to work through my customer list and check in with every happy customer and ask if they would co-host. Like that's so simple to do. And it could seriously create a ton of silvers for you, right? Like I feel like everyone that I coach and talk to is like, I want to create silvers, do this, <laughs> like plug into this um, because it's a great tool for duplication. So I super appreciate appreciate you guys doing this. I think the whole team does. And we just need to kind of trickle this down and make sure everyone sees the value um, and just starts utilizing it. And like they said, if you want to help, if you want to um, go live one week, if you want to, you know, schedule some of the posts, that would be awesome. The more leaders that we have involved, the better. And then, you know, your people can see you too. So any last questions or Victoria, Shane, any, any last thoughts? Cool. All right. Well, thank you guys so much, Shay and Victoria. You're awesome power partners um, and really just blessing the whole team. So thank you guys. And thank you all you ladies for being on here live and I hope you guys have a great week. Good night guys. Thanks everyone.